happens. I mean, maybe I know it's in theory, but a man client, somebody going through man clients. Because you said that usually you were either in a relationship, coming out of a relationship, or going into a relationship. <laughs> but then you decided to go on a man client. So what was that about? And do you recommend it? I do, 100%. First of all, man client is not a popular word. Like I said, okay, it was just, um, that should be 2016 or, or 2015. I think 2016, I had a friend, she's married now. So we belong to a WhatsApp brand. She was saying, ah, I just want to go on a man client's match. We're just going on a, like, what's man client? She was like, it's just a period of staying off romantic relationships. Like, oh, really? I like, at that point, I was um, 25 going on 26. I started dating at 17 and I was going from one relationship to the other, one relationship to like there's no time for money, like because there are always many people saying, ah, oh, please can you be my girlfriend? Can you marry me? Can you like so before like funny enough, I've always been what end of my relationship. So by the time I'm ending, I'm already checking through the list. Okay, who else should I try? Who else should I try? Funny enough, I never even pick anybody on the list. There's always a fresh person that is more appealing than all those other people. So you just move on and you just go on. So at this point, I was like at the point she was saying this, I was engaged to be married. The relationship wasn't working. I didn't even have peace about the relationship again. And the greatest desire in my heart was, oh God, I really want a chance to be alone without any form of relationship. That's the part I realized that. Even though I've been unmarried all my life, I've actually not been single. That's where that single hood came in. Once you're ready to be single, you're not ready to be married. It's a period of staying of um, a romantic re relationship basically you be truly single that's why this book talks about true singlehood somebody will say what is true singlehood because they're just single when you're single and it's just you're married that dictionary definition but inside your head it's either you're in a romantic relationship or you are desiring a romantic relationship you are fantasizing about a, rela a romantic relationship you are planning towards a romantic relationship you are not single True singlehood, the man cleans phase or woman cleans, if you choose, is the phase that you're like, okay, I am not in a relationship. I do not want to be in a relationship. Of course, that doesn't mean you will not have the normal, what they call it, um, platonic relationship with every other person, but it's a place of staying off every form of romantic relationship. What that does for you is that it gives you objectivity. See, emotions distort a lot of things when you're in a relationship or desiring to be in a relationship you can never like as it is now okay today is wednesday i agreed for this interview if i were married or if i were in a relationship okay <laughs> there's some decisions i cannot just make by myself because i need somebody else to agree with me to make that relation and um, decision say for instance now i'm a single lady i'm traveling tomorrow i don't need to take permission from anybody like, oh, I need to travel. What do you think? Like, oh, why are you traveling? You today travel. You know, you don't need all that stress. You should have a period in your life where the only person that has the final say in your life is your maker and yourself. These are the two. Every other person is external, really. So if you are in a relationship and you find out that there's no freedom of expression, you are losing your voice because you are afraid of how your partner will take what you say. You know, you're working on eggshells. Ah, he's not in the right mood to take what I have to say. Oh, she's going to flare up. Sorry, it's not healthy for you because there are days you'll be on edge and you don't need somebody that you always have to be composed to communicate with. Why, then why are, we, why, are we, why are we that intimate if I cannot be my vulnerable self around you? So that is the place of having a man cleanse.